Okay, I'm not trying to sound like a spooky wooky uh, gloom and doom, but oh, this is Pat Love from Pat's Two Cents. Um, what I am thinking I need to tell you guys another warning to find creative ways to guard your windows. Um, if things start breaking loose and getting helter skelter out there we need to be able to protect our homes right and one of the things as i was sitting here just looking at my windows i could see almost like a um it was when i was looking at my windows it was like i could see wrought iron not on the outside on the inside which means you have more control you can have that set up the way you want and if there's a lack of heat for whatever reason and you don't have money for a um, generator you could get maybe go to the thrift store and buy moving blankets you know those big thick blankets they use the moving men use to wrap around the furniture and protect it you could actually cut that to the size of your windows, nail it in, and then put the wrought iron over it. That way you're insulating your windows, but you're also protecting yourself from being broken into from the outside. And with all your windows where a person can actually squeeze in, that might be a good idea. Some of you may just board them up. However you choose to do it, find a way to protect your home so that you and your family won't be vulnerable to violence from without you want that stuff to stay out there you don't want it getting in so um you know like i said the main thing we need is water 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 so make sure there's plenty of bottled water in your home I mean, at least if you have to, if you have to ration, you want to at least be able to drink five or six glasses of water a day, at least. Of course, eight is ideal, but you know, under that's under ideal circumstances. So, just be very careful, okay? Think of different ways. Go to the thrift stores and load up on blankets. That way, you're not putting out a lot of money to do so. You hear what I mean? Um, just ask God to show you how to... Maybe you can um, gather up all your sweaters and, and get all your socks and everything you think you might need. So in case you have to dress in layers just to be warm in your house, you'll have the clothes at hand to do it. You won't have to wander throughout a dark house to get it. Put them in a place where you can get to them easily. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> God bless you. I am just trying to, to make sure that we all think of what we need. I'm really hoping nothing happens, you guys. I am hoping that we can pray the storms away. And you know we can. If you can pray a tornado away and you can pray a dog that's bent on attacking you away we can pray all of these calamities away we can now there may be some areas where God doesn't answer prayer because he's bent on judging that area but if you're not sure about your area ask God if you need to move even if it's just for a hot minute, it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs>